All right, another beautiful day in Kyoto. So, this uh, this video is dedicated to my buddy uh, Alex. Um, thank you so much for your support on the channel and leaving comments. Cindy and I always love your very colorful commentary, and uh, I think you're a cool dude. All right, anyways, so. One of the things I want to share with you is this concept of moonshot thinking. So I know a lot of these concepts, you know, essentially fall on top of each other. The basic concept of moonshot thinking is shooting for the moon and beyond. And I was lying in bed today and I was thinking about it. And do you, do you remember in Toy Story where Buzz Lightyear goes to infinity and beyond? And also, you know, thinking about the Lego movie. <laughs> which is like the soundtrack of my life. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Nah, 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 nah. When you live in the dream. Okay, so anyways, the point is, the sad thing is in today's day and world, and with you know, Donald Trump and blah, blah, the world is so pessimistic. It's so, you know, people feel like there's not that much hope, there's not that much opportunity, and I actually was a huge fan of, I mean, I wasn't born yet, but this notion of America, at least in the Kennedy era, where, you know, we're shooting for the moon, quite literally. And, you know, back then, it was thought that it was impossible to go to the moon. And, of course, you know, all these crazy, foolish misfits essentially came together and got us to the moon. So that was, that was pretty awesome. And the thing, too, is that with moonshot thinking, essentially it's giving yourself a crazy, audacious, ridiculous, unrealistic goal in life. And it doesn't even, to me, it doesn't even matter whether you achieve that goal or not. But what matters more is the fact that you're audacious enough to even shoot for that goal, to shoot that high. Because I think humanity is pretty amazing. Like what we've been able to accomplish it's phenomenal, like we freaking invented the internet, smartphones, digital cameras, and like even seeing what Elon Musk is doing to me is super inspiring because he's essentially taken his principles from first principles and he's not, asked, he's not thinking by analogy, he's just thinking like what is physically possible and what's physically not possible. And so the thing with moonshot thinking, which I think is amazing, maybe we should call it Mars shot thinking now, and with moonshot thinking is that Realizing that you essentially have no limits, you have infinite potential and life is too short to live boring and life is too short for us to set low expectations of ourselves. Life is too short for us to almost not shoot for the moon. And this is another question you could think about too is why not shoot for the moon? It's, it's a, you know, some people might say why shoot for the moon? I say the opposite, why not shoot for the moon? You remember when you were a kid, you know, you're like, okay, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be the president, blah, blah, blah. People are like, okay, you know, you could do it. But as you get older, you get discouraged from having these crazy, audacious ideas and goals. And, you know, one of my favorite things to listen to whenever I need a little bit of motivation or inspiration is listening to Steve Jobs' Misfits poem, where it's like, you know, this is dedicated to the crazy ones, the misfits, the square pegs who don't fit in the round holes, blah, blah, blah. And the ones who are crazy enough to think that they could change the world can. And for me, I remember when I was, you know, 18 years old, I didn't actually think it was possible to monetize your passion. You know, photography was one of my passions, something I was interested in. But I didn't actually, to be honest, realistically think that I could successfully monetize my passion for photography. It was just something I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do this for fun, you know, maybe I'm going to try to figure out how I could use my skills in a practical way. So my passion was sociology, I studied sociology, and ended up thinking to myself, okay, I probably need a quote, quote, real job, so I'll, oh, maybe I could do this online marketing social media thing, because that's what was getting quite popular at the time. And so... I decided that, yeah, maybe I could do this uh, social media thing. And the way I branded myself and marketed myself was, hey, you know, I studied sociology at UCLA and I actually taught a course online social, um, the sociology of 
Facebook and online social network. So I essentially got an internship, got my first job working doing um, online community management slash social media for a digital media company. And so taking it back to moonshot thinking, one of my favorite Kanye West lines <laughs> is, shoot for the stars because even if you fail, you end up landing on a cloud or something like that. And the basic concept of moonshot thinking is once again, set yourself a ridiculously high goal in life. And it doesn't even matter if you reach that goal or not, but the fact that I think the higher you set your goals in life, the more you're gonna achieve in life. So for example, even like, you know, Elon Musk wants to take us all to the moon and colonize Mars, right? Whether he succeeds or not, to me actually is not that of a big deal. To me, I mean, I, I would prefer to be planet Earth. I mean, if I had the chance to be one of the first Mars settlers, I'd probably sign up. But still, like, I think the genius and the greatness of uh, Elon Musk isn't that like he's like so smart, but the fact that he's so ridiculous and he read a lot of sci-fi when he was a kid, he read Hitchhiker's to the, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And that's actually one thing I love about sci-fi and Star Wars and Star Trek and all those businesses is that it makes you think about ex exploration, to think about charting onto uncharted grounds and for us to do audacious things like go to the moon, go to space and do all this crazy stuff. And so it's kind of ridiculous because imagine if like 20 years ago you told all these people that, oh yeah, you know, we'd have supercomputers that fit in our front pockets that have access to the entire sum of human knowledge. People are like, wait, what? You have all this technology, like, you know, think about all the amazing things you could do. You could start like, you know, you could, ha you could essentially start your own TV channel. You could start your own uh, music label. You could start, you could, you could do anything. And you remember like in the past, there were so many gatekeepers, which kind of essentially got in our way from doing epic stuff that we wanted to do. You essentially had to be discovered. You get to get signed as an artist to a label, blah, blah. But now, with YouTube, with Facebook, with Instagram, with blogging, with internet, blah, blah, you can essentially start your own platform and you could choose yourself without having to get permission from anybody else. And to me, this is so exciting because there's essentially nothing holding us back anymore except our hustle, our determination, and of course, a lot of skills involved as well as luck because, you know, sometimes you're born at the wrong time, at the wrong place, you're not going to succeed a little bit loud but up here so I'm gonna keep walking hopefully you enjoy these walks as much as I do oh this is another live tip too is that if you want to just be overall happier or more productive just walk more I find that I actually come up with the best ideas when I'm walking and I just it just makes me feel more relaxed and happy but anyways so realize that you have infinite potential you have all this technology at your hands my practical suggestions is, you know, if you want to shoot for the moon, you also have to be very, very persistent because it's so easy for us to get discouraged when we don't see immediate results. But think about like all the manpower that had to go towards, you know, taking the astronauts to space and um, all of the, the countless nights of where people just kind of lose faith and hope in themselves. My practical suggestion is whatever your dream is or whatever your goal is, think to yourself, if you made or did one thing every single day for an entire year, 365 days, how can you not succeed? So like even me, when I started when my um, I started my blog on street photography, street photography, like I had no intention on making this my career. You know, something I was just so passionate about. And I was just thinking to myself, hey, you know, I'm just gonna, and I had a full-time job at the time. And I was thinking to myself, oh, what if I, you know, I'm just gonna keep blogging. And so essentially I just wrote a blog post like usually, I think around like three, three days a week, uh, usually Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And yeah, I just kept it up for about a year. And I was at, uh, at the end of the year, I was able to get myself to a point where, you know, I was able to teach workshops and I actually built a small name for myself. And yeah, that was, to me, it was pretty awesome is that like, only after a small year of dedicated effort, I was able to do that. And think about how quickly a year goes by. Uh, another thought that I had too was, 
I think it's Malcolm Gladwell who popularized this concept of the 10,000 hour rule is that if you want to master or become really good at anything, just dedicate 10,000 hours of effort to something. And I was thinking, <laughs> and this is a little, even a little bit crazier, if you did 10,000 blog posts, if you made 10,000 videos, if you made over 10,000 photos, 10,000 poems, 10,000 films, etc., how could you not get good at something? So I think a lot of skill building and essentially becoming an expert or getting really good at anything, a lot of it just perseverance and just putting out the work is just keep creating, keep, keep acting, keep putting yourself out there and realize that you know, in some ways it's, it is kind of a numbers game. So even um, one of the artists I really <laughs> admire that I picked up I, I, I heard of recently, Janelle Monet. You can check out my dancing video. Me and Cindy were like dancing to her The Way You Make Me Feel music video, which is awesome. It's so amazing that the people are, oh, she's an overnight success. Dude, she's been at this for like over 10 years and she's put out like six albums and just now her, her new songs are starting to pick up some more viral success. And so realize that it is a long journey. It is a long goal. Like, even for me, I just... I just turned 30 years old recently, just hearing that makes me like pretty much, I'm pretty surprised because I started photography when I was like 18 years old. So I guess I've been making photos for over 10 years, like 12 years. And I started my blog around 2010, and it's 2008, man, 2000, I thought it was 2018, 2017, I don't remember. So I've been blogging for almost seven to eight years and I, I looked recently at my YouTube library, I made over 500 videos. And yeah, and I still feel so much infinite optimism because I'm still learning, I'm still evolving, I'm still growing, and realize that you as an artist, as an entrepreneur, as an individual, you're always in a state of flux, you're constantly changing into something else. So don't feel so much nostalgia for the past, realize that once again, if you had a pocket computer, or think about the technology they had to send the, the astronauts to uh, to the moon, they had like something like one one hundredth of the power of your iPhone that took them to the freaking moon. Imagine the technology we have, we could go to Mars or beyond and so be a little more foolish, watch some crazy films, watch Ghost in the Shell, watch Star Trek, watch Star Wars, watch The Matrix and remember, shoot for the moon because worst case scenario, just end up landing on a cloud. Uh, thanks for watching guys. And if you want to learn how to think about more moonshot thinking, 10x thinking, productivity hacks, taking yourself to the next level and being the change you wish to see in the world, click the link below in my new course, Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Photography Entrepreneurship, where you can learn the skills, the hacks, the techniques, the ideas to take yourself to the next level. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Peace out.